Front pass. The main thing I need to do is control the hips. So the person who's coaching the guy who's using the guard, he should be encouraging him to find ways to keep the hips free. How do you keep the hips free? You gotta break the posture, right? Don't let me hold your hips, take the hand and pull, right? Maybe you put one hand on the collar, across, and you keep my head down. And every time I try and push up, you pull my hand, right? So this is the game. You try and keep me down by pulling the hand and pulling the neck, and as soon as I try and reestablish my base, you're gonna pull the head again and take the grip off, right? That's the game. That's the game for the guy in the guard, okay? So look for the positional opportunity and the submission naturally follows. The submission is completely inconsequential and it's not the goal. The goal is to keep a really high level of positioning. All right? Another case in point, Carlos, uh, sorry, Charlie was getting passed and then he was mounted. Um, you were doing the right thing by telling him to keep his neck safe and you were encouraging him to go for the upa. So those are the two main principles to focus on. First, don't get submitted. Yeah. Survive, stay alive, don't get caught. Then, when you're safe, you can start to escape. Okay? So good job, guys. Both of you. Now, this